fact or witness, either directly or indirectly. Those are all very standard bond conditions. Mr. Simpson, we expect Mr. Simpson to be processed and released. Yes! Fairly quickly. The district attorney, Mr. Rogers, and the staff at the Correction Center has been nothing but professional and courteous to me and Mr. Grasso. For the record, again, as I stated last night, the only two lawyers who are representing Mr. Simpson are myself and Mr. Grasso. And the reason you know that is because none of the other lawyers who have appeared, gone on television, or given statements knew anything about this stipulation. Fox News last night and the CBS Morning Show interviewed a lawyer based on bogus paperwork that was filed with the clerk's office, knowing that he was unauthorized, unretained, and the family had not requested that he do that. I will be taking professional action against those lawyers that tried to solicit my client. The reason I made the comment in court to Judge Bonaventure, the Yale Galanter and Gabriel Grasso, and only Yale Galanter and Gabriel Grasso represent O.J. Simpson, is to clear that up. I mean, I felt like I was in a Joe Pesci movie, but that's where I got the comment. Um, other than that, we do expect Mr. Simpson to go back to Florida in the next few yes. days. He will not be doing any interviews. So I know my office has been inundated. I'm sure you're going to call Mr. Grasso's office here locally in Las Vegas. Do not call and request any interviews of Mr. Simpson. I know you probably will, but we're not doing any. Well done. Well, you know, the, the, standard, the standard release time here is anywhere between six and eight hours. The bond is being posted as we speak. Obviously, we've known about this for some time, so all the arrangements have been pre-made. We've been assured by the people and the, the very professional staff at the detention center that he will be expedited quickly. Yeah, I mean, after after all, they, they want him out as soon as possible. You've also. expressed some anger about how, how this went. Were you able to represent your client fairly? Oh, I, I think that Mr. Rogers and his staff were beyond courteous and beyond professional. I think the stipulation that we reached was very, very reasonable uh, in terms of what Mr. Simpson is being charged with at this time. He'll be arraigned sometime during the week of October 22nd. Yeah, for the record, is your, is your client hold on, hold on, hold on, just one at a time, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm not going to, I don't, I can discuss the charges generally. I don't want to discuss any of the evidence. My policy is not to try these cases in the media. As I said last night at the press conference when Gabe and I left the detention center, my only focus up till this point in time has been securing Mr. Simpson's release from Nice custody. work, dude. Up high. Thank you very much. Yes, right okay. here. Come on. Thank don't you. let me hang in. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I appreciate that. Thank I you, really buddy. Do. Nice work. Um, you know, and that's been our focus. And, and, you know, obviously you guys want answers to questions that we don't have the answers to at this point in time. We are thoroughly going to investigate the case. We will thoroughly make sure that all of Mr. Simpson's rights are protected. We're going to examine all of the witness statements, both to the police and to the various media outlets. But I can't comment on them because, quite frankly, I haven't had the time to dissect them the way you guys have. Well, when are immediately going back to Hold Florida, on. or is he going to stay here? Well, I don't know what your definition of immediately is, but my intention... I, I can't comment on exactly when or what flight or any of that stuff. I am planning on bringing him back as soon as possible. What will you plea when the time comes? Not guilty. Is your client innocent or not guilty? Well, I'm not sure there's a difference in the eyes of the law. He's both, dude. He's innocent and not anyway, guilty. Anyway, thank you. Any, get, how is he? How does he feel now? I think, I think he's extremely relieved. Um, obviously, when, you know, we knew about this last night, we informed him. You know, he's relieved. I mean, this has been a very uh, harrowing experience for him. He's been in custody for three days. Just wants to get home. It's an home emotional and be with, time. It's an emotional time. He just wants to get home and be with his family and kids. Yeah. Well, think this bail is going to be extraordinarily low. What's your comment? I think that the bail is extremely reasonable. You know, I mean, look at all these kids. Just turn around. I mean, there isn't a place on the planet that Mr. Simpson could go when somebody wouldn't recognize him or know who he was. I mean, you know, just take a Excuse me. 
Excuse me. The truth of the matter is, is that despite his past and public opinion about his past, he is not a flight risk and he is not a danger to the community. So that bond is more than reasonable. It's exactly where it should be. Hold on one at a time. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to comment on that. And your assumption that he can't put his property up is wrong. How's, how's his family doing? Yeah. He wanted to talk. He actually picked up the phone from his hotel room and said, "I want to talk to, to anybody who wants to listen. Is this your decision to not allow Mr. Simpson to give any interviews at all, or is it his decision that he's not going to say?" It's my decision, and that's the way it's going to be. How do you separate that from fiction here? We're getting so many. Websites, audio Listen, you guys, look, you guys have jobs to do. You report from various sources. I am telling you that the only credible information that you can get about this case will be when we give press conferences and we notify the media. What I have been hearing over the past three or four days has been incredible. And this attorney issue and national news organizations putting attorneys on to discuss their representation of O.J. Simpson when everybody in this media pool knows that I have represented him for years is deplorable to me. Now, just so, just so you know, Gabe, I know Gabe from Fort Lauderdale. He's a fine, fine Las Vegas lawyer. He's extremely well respected. He's been in on this from the beginning. So to hear these other lawyers come out and say they're representing O.J. Simpson, quite frankly, set me off like a rocket ship. When, when, and you know, when you're talking about national news organizations and top cable networks are putting these people on without verifying the facts is just deplorable to me. Well, I don't. I don't think. I don't think that uh, that Mr. Simpson is as aware of it as I am, because his access to, quite frankly, media reports has been restricted over the past few days. But it's not. It, again, it wouldn't be his beef. It's my beef. And I'm going to tackle it. I really am. I'm very upset about this. And, and just, just so you all know, the reason I'm so upset about it is because you all knew who his lawyer was. This guy right here. Again, I'm, you know, Gabe and I are not going to discuss any evidentiary issues at all. We need to examine the tape. We need to examine all the witness statements. We need to examine the discovery. We're not going to go through it in front of cameras and microphones. We're just not going to. Hold on. I think that the O.J. Simpson murder case invoked very, very strong feelings across America. And I think depending on who you talk to, everybody's got an opinion. Totally. I am, listen, I am, those of you who know me from Florida and have covered my other cases, know that I am a creature of the criminal justice system. I was a state attorney for many, many years. I practiced in both Dade and Broward County. We lost the feed. We lost the feed there just briefly. We'll try to get that uh, back up. But uh, Greg Jarrett is joining me right now. And uh, Greg Jarrett making a, a big deal about this. I, we are the only attorneys, yeah. the only people. And so let's listen again. So far, I can't talk right now. So far, I am incredibly impressed at how professional and courteous everybody has been to us. And that's the only thing I can say. Do you think the DA is going after him hard because he's OK? He wants to be the one to bring OG down? Okay, maybe you didn't hear me. Okay. <laughs> one more time. Mr. Rogers, in my opinion, has been nothing but courteous and professional to me since the first time I contacted him. I, I don't know how much clearer I can be. Good answer. Uh, hold on, hold on. I, l listen, other than, other than, okay, listen. Other than my client being O.J. Simpson, my office, Gabe's office, handles these types of cases in a very routine manner. If you go into any courtroom in this building and look at the docket sheet, that's all you see. I mean, this is not, other than it being Mr. Simpson, there is nothing unusual about this case. Uh, and I'm saying that in terms of any criminal defense firm handles burglaries, robberies, kidnapping charges. So my plan right now is no. That can change.
You know, obviously, obviously, as you all know, my office has handled, you know, we handle 100 of these cases a month. Is OJ scared that he could go to jail for the rest of his life? I, you know, I think he is, I think he appreciates, truly appreciates the sincerity and the serious nature of these charges. I mean, they're serious. I mean, they, you know, there is no doubt about that. However, you know, he, he has confidence in his legal team, and we're going to pursue it as vigorously as we can. What's he saying about people who would have been that deal? Okay. Okay. Excellent question. Uh, uh, un, un, unlike the lawyers that really did not represent Mr. Simpson, we're not going to comment on anything that we discussed with our client. Do you? Extremely important. Um, again, I'm not. Listen, you guys can ask me a lot of questions, but I guarantee you that you will never hear out of my mouth anything I discussed with Mr. Simpson or out or out of Gabe or out of Gabe's mouth. Have characterized Mr. Simpson as the leader of this operation going to this hotel room, et cetera. How do you characterize his okay. participation in this? I am not going to comment on any of the evidence, any of the witness statements, or any characterizations of the evidence or the statements. The only thing I know is that what we came here to do this morning, we got accomplished. Our goal was to get what is, in my opinion, a fair, reasonable bond, allow Mr. Simpson to go home and be with his family. That is going to be accomplished, and we thank everybody who facilitated that in happening. I mean, we're we're going to follow, 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 follow the Nevada. We're going to follow the Nevada bar. We're going to follow the. We're going to follow the Nevada bar rules regarding publicity, and we're going to follow, for that matter, the Florida bar rules because I'm also licensed in Florida, although I'm on inactive status there. And and we're going to follow those rules. Unlike other attorneys, uh, we're going to follow those rules with respect to what we can say to the media and things like that. Go ahead.